Here we are backstage at Edge Fest 25th anniversary with the Nixons. What's up, everybody? Woo! Hey. Yeah, we go back a long time. You see, uh, I used to work at a station in Oklahoma City called The Cat, yes. and you guys were a little baby band back then. <laughs> we were at The Cat yesterday. <laughs> were you? Uh, uh, two days ago, doing an interview for a show we did in Oklahoma City, and we were sort of, it was like time warp, getting in that elevator, going upstairs, right. remembering taking a CD to Greg Zubek, trying to get us to play. Anyway. Yeah, it Zubek, was awesome. is he still there? He's still there. Yeah. Isn't that yeah. amazing? <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> When you guys walked in, you were like, yeah, in Oklahoma City. I'm like, oh, my God, I can't believe anybody even remembers Blast that. Blast from the past. That's that's home for us. So Yeah, so what have you been doing? Like, okay, you did a lot of shows for the Eagle back in the 90s, and we were we were banging your song uh, Sister then. And uh, so I haven't seen you guys since then, though. So give me the background. Well, that's what we what were just happened? saying. No one has um, yeah. because we sort of went away. In fact, the this is our first sort of couple shows in 15 years. Um John is in Seether, so he's still out banging away, um, and Jesse's got projects. But Ricky and I really haven't been on stage in forever, and we played last night, and, and here we are today at Edge Fest again. Yeah. I think this is like our fifth, sixth time. Is it really? It's awesome, yeah. Oh, my God. That's great. And, of course, Edge Fest being like the premier show, tell me how much better Edge Fest is than every other show you do. <laughs> it is. It's awesome. And I uh, love this venue and the sound is really good, man. This sort of sort of bowl set up. The PA sound great. The band's already sounding good down there. So I'm ready to go, man. Yeah. So so do you guys have some new music? What are you doing? We don't. We're playing the oldies. <laughs> the classics. Well, that's yeah. cool, though. No, it's, that's uh, what the, everybody knows. Yeah, I mean, and, and the other thing is that there were a few lineups, and this is the original lineup that started this whole thing in, you know, 1990-something. Right. And, um, and yeah, again, we came together just a few months ago and rehearsed, we were in the same room together for literally the first time in 15 years, you know, so longer for, for, for Ricky, so. Yeah. yeah, that's amazing. So do you plan on doing more new material? I mean, right now, I'm just trying to get through this set. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's cool. I mean, we, we really have been hyper-focused on kind of giving people, you know, just a flashback, you know. It was last night and, and today, it's gonna be amazing because, uh, you know, People haven't heard these songs played live in that long. For a uh, long time. Know, songs like Sister and... It was actually you know. really cool to hear Sister on the radio. I was like, oh my God, this reminds me of the 90s. It yeah. was it really We heard cool. it on the, ra the radio yesterday and you know, <laughs> like, we were singing along. <laughs> so then when you guys actually got together again, after this big long time that you hadn't played together, how weird was that to, to do a couple of songs together I mean it was uh, a culmination of emotions I mean it was like emo it was emotional it was like uh, we had practiced and done our homework but we had the set list all prepared we'd been talking sort of via text and email about everything we had planned and then we got into a practice room and we went down the list and we haven't played these songs man in like 17 years Yeah, that's a long and there were no time. train wrecks there weren't any of the no way we're not playing the same song stop you know <laughs> we went right down the list man and it sounded awesome and I have a 17 year old son who was there me too and he was he's a fan of the band and he's finally getting to see it I mean we had run through the songs once and he's like Dad, you guys are ready to do a show. Sounds awesome. I'm ready to see you guys play really? now. On the first know? rehearsal. Yeah, first oh rehearsal. My God. I will say, man. So, so you didn't like completely forget everything or forget the feeling that you had working together? No, it was actually quite familiar. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's so much muscle memory because back in back when we were touring in the 90s, we were playing 300 shows a year. Right. So there was so much, uh, in a way, it's like riding a bicycle. <laughs> And also in another way, it's like hearing a familiar voice, yeah. just the sound of the instruments and the way a, a person plays a note different than anyone, any other person. And then you have four people or four voices uh, all culminating, and that's what makes the Nixons. So, so now that you're doing this show, what's the plan after this? You're going to start touring well, again? Well, I can tell or? you this. Um, well, first of all, John... Seether's released a, a single that's climbing the charts right now, and and um, album comes out soon, and yeah. they're going to do a, a huge tour, so that will preclude, you know, a whole lot. But there's some windows. But in there. selfishly, because there are some windows, today, however much we love Edge Fest, we only get to play like 35 minutes, and that yeah. sucks for us. So because you know, we so we want to come back um, to Dallas, and there are other places we we've got to we've got to hit that we're sort of 
regular stops for us back at the very beginning. So, I mean, I hope we play some more shows for sure. Yeah. Well, I got an idea. See, when you get the new album and you get all that together and you go out on tour with Seether, you take Nixon's and then you play double show. Yeah, you can <laughs> play two so sets. tired, oh. man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm a genius. What can I say? I just think Boom, I'm a solved. <laughs> I'll be dead. <laughs> Your 17 year old will be showing picking you up like this. 17 year old will be filling in. Yeah, for actually, him. I'm going to go home. So does your 17 year old play? Does he play? He is. He's a drummer as well. Oh, as my wife would they say. Oh, my God. Yeah, they were one of the opening bands they in were. Oklahoma City last night. Yeah. No. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, they were first of three and they got up there and they killed it. They what, were what is the name of the band? Moscow is the name of his band. Moscow. Yeah. Yeah. That's so relevant right yeah. now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do they play for Donald Trump? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, but they played for the Nixons yeah. and the Nixons audience, and it was great. That's was amazing. Cool. Well, good luck to them. Good luck to you guys. It's fantastic to have you back. Thank and, you. Uh, yeah. I'm so thrilled. I can't wait to see the set. Now